to the Victoria. Special case for this type of the generation that I call it for. So your new is much superior compared to the commonly prescribed drug. If it is within this one, the FTR region. Okay, so our topic for um, this video is about um, scalar, I uh, don't that product or scalar product. Okay, so we just write here scalar product. So that is the other term for the other term for that product. So scalar product is um, given by this formula by the definition. So we have this one. So we have, for example, we have two vectors. So vector A dot vector B is equal to the absolute value of vector A times the absolute value of vector B cosine theta AB. So if we are going to graph this vector, so for example, if we are going to uh, graph this vector if we are going to represent them in a um, xy plane so this is our um, vector the absolute value of vector b and this is the absolute um, this is our vector a okay the absolute value of our vector a so we will that this is not the vector b so rather this is the that product of them okay so we just write this one here this is our vector b the absolute value of vector b so this will be our cosine a b so meaning so this is the angle relative to our vector a and vector b so this will be the could say this will be the absolute value of the dot product itself okay so this is how we're going to graph uh, basically the graphical representation of our dot product okay now we will go to the analytical method on solving this problem no the dot product so for example if you are going to represent we will have this one in purple our vector a as a um, vector itself so if we have our notation for vector it is a capital letter with an arrow um, up so during our discussion this will be how we are going to represent our vector okay so we'll have a x um, i plus so the i is the unit vector for component a x we have a y this will be j plus a z k so i j and k are our component our unit vector then for vector b so we have um, b x i plus b y j plus b z k okay so this a x e y a z b x b y and b z are all scalar and our i j and k are all vectors okay so what we are going to do now is just to do the other definition of a vector of so the other definition of a vector product so we'll just um, get vector a that vector b here then we will multiply each of these ones we have e sub x so multiplied here by our bx so that will be i times uh, i dot i because they are vectors also so we have e x bx Oh, no, that is by i dot j okay plus uh, 
um, we have ex bz i dot k plus so we just distribute each of this here to our vector b okay so we have ey ex j dot i okay plus ay by this will be j dot j plus um ay bz j dot k plus AZ BX um, K dot I so I believe this one is not A but BX so we just correct this one here so that is BX okay plus we have AZ dot by k dot j plus um, az bz k dot k okay so if we're going to back going back to the definition of a uh, dot product so we will just need to have to get the dot product of this unit vectors for us to simplify this whole equation here so maybe we just do this in this part of the board okay so if we have i dot i okay so two unit vectors that into each other so for example this is our i unit vector i so the angle between them cosine theta is uh, the cosine theta here is um one because our theta so cosine is the theta or the angle between i and i is equal to zero so therefore the cosine theta is equal to one so we could say that i dot i is equal to the absolute value of i times the absolute value of i times cosine theta which is this is just equal to one and this is because it's a unit vector so it's um, component or its scalar component is also 1 and is also equal to 1 so therefore our i dot i is equal to 1 same as go to j dot j and k dot k that is equal to 1 now if we're going if we go to um, for example we have j dot k so the angle between them maybe we just have that 1 in orange okay so this for example this is our uh, j here this is our k so the angle between them is 90 degrees so going back to the definition so j dot k that will be uh, the, pro the product of their absolute value cosine of the angle between them which is cosine 90 and cosine 90 is equal to 0 so this will be also 0 times 0 that will be just 0 so our j dot k is equal to 0 and it will go also the i dot k is equal to 0 and j dot i is equal to 0 all of the unit vectors which are not uh, which are dotted not to itself is equal to 0 therefore our equation here will just be simplified so this will be equal to 1 this will be 0 this will be 0 because they are uh, not of the same unit vector this will be zero this will be equal to one zero 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 and one okay so we could now simplify our that product okay so we just have this one here that product as ex bx plus ay by because everything here is zero so this is zero and zero so we have plus 
AZ and BZ. So this one, because this is equal to one, this also and this other one here. So this is now the simplified um, definition of our dot product. If you are given the two vectors, okay, so basically we are given with a we get the product of two vectors and we end up with this um, equation which is itself is a scalar so if we dotted two vector quantities so we will end up with a scalar quantity so that's why the dot product is also called as the scalar product calculator here and we have um, special uh, Compared to the 